Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lo here. Thanks for clicking on this video. If this is your first time in on my channel, welcome. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that we can be friends and you can be a part of the Lo family. So, for the video I'm doing today is going to be on the Palmer's Olive Oil Black Jamaican Castor Oil version. So these are what the products look like. I picked them up at my local Walmart. They were like $5 a piece, so I got all three. It was like $15. Um, it claims that it is for unruly, frizz-prone hair, and is rich formula, formulated for strong, shiny hair. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no phycolates, no mineral oil, and no gluten. So, uh, yes. And I got these because I was in like a hunt or new shampoo, conditioner, and stuff like that. So I said, why not give this a try? So yeah, I'm gonna either put a video to left or right of me showing you how I use these products while I'm talking to you guys a little bit about it. Well, let's start with the shampoo. This is one of my favorite products out of this line. I really like the shampoo. It's really smoothing shampoo, like it says. I can definitely detangle my hair, comb through my hair, finger through my hair with the shampoo in like, a little goes a long way as well with this shampoo and because I only shampoo like once or twice out the month it's definitely worth it I really won't don't feel like I need to buy another shampoo from anywhere else because this does it for me you know what I'm saying um, when it comes to the um, and it's when it comes to smell the smells are not strong whatsoever just smell like basic shampoo conditioner it doesn't have no black Jamaican castor oil smell like you know you're used to when you sm get the little um, actual oils. It doesn't smell like that. It's just regular shampoo conditioner <laughs> and leave-in. So don't expect any type of smell. Um, my hair did come out okay, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> the next thing as far as the conditioner is called the Replenishing Conditioner. I use that. It's not hot like oh my god like it gl it's like butter no it gives you just enough um replenishing gives you enough, just enough moisture for your hair i left it in for a little while i think i left it in for like almost an hour and then rinsed it out it did a great job it didn't wow me but it's an okay product i definitely can see if i can use it as a leave-in or just use it as for a wash and go or something of that nature but it doesn't wow me as you know a, a staple conditioner so I probably will pass on that when it comes to the leave-in um, I don't know what I if I was expecting anything from the leave-in I really didn't um, get too much stuff from I me mean, I think it's something I will have to use over and over again I don't know um, I'll probably just use it really to moisturize my hair from time to time when I have to you know travel or something I, I like that it has a spray on it because most leave-ins my leave-ins that I have is usually I scoop up my hand put it in my head and that's it but this leave-in is a spray it's really runny it's I mean it's basic it's not a wow factor I think the only thing that wowed me in this line was the shampoo cause, you know most shampoo tangles your hair knots your hair this one doesn't and I love that so yeah the two the conditioner and the leave-in are basic um, I think I may have to try them a little bit more and see if it grows on me and see if I like it to maybe come back as a favorite or a staple in my routine. So, how did my hair turn out? My hair turned out frizzy still. I mean, I try not to use, I usually use my Eden Body Works Curling Cream um, to do my twist outs or my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer Smoothie to do that. So. My twist out came okay. I didn't use a handful of the um, Eden Body Works. Maybe that is why I didn't get so much definition because that really is good for frizz. But after washing my hair, it did make my hair pop, but it did look a little frizzy. I was looking for a really, um, I was looking for my hair to really be defined, like my curls to really be defined, like some conditions and shampoos do afterwards. But it wasn't as defined, so I don't know if the claims that it's saying I'm really prone hair if that is a really a go I don't know but like I said the shampoo out of this line is my favorite if I can say anything you can definitely go out and get it they are affordable they are five dollars a piece that's a round up because I think they were four dollars and change just depending on where your Walmart is and 
pricing because I know in different states different pricing stuff like that so where I am is $5 piece I like I like them I would definitely use them again and see if they can go into one of my favorites or as a staple in my routine like I said earlier but overall I'll give these a 5 out of 10 <laughs> they're not like oh my god you have to go pick these up no there's not but for something that is reasonable and you just need to grab and go I will say yes pick up Palmer's it is something that I will definitely use if I'm running low and I don't have any money to go on the shampoo and products it will be my go-to to go to Palmer's so yeah anyways I hope this video wasn't too long um I'm trying not to have so many long videos um if you guys love this look on my face I'm going to have a video on it. It should be either out next or so. So just stay tuned for this video for this makeup look and everything like that. I will also put information down below so you can be able to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, and everything else. I think that's all the social media I have. I don't have the other stuff right now. And you can also follow me on Snapchat. I don't post a lot, but you can follow me there. So when I do post, you can see or be the first one to see it before I post it on Instagram so yeah until next time guys kisses from me to you bye